any sort of regret for what you did or? No, I'm not happy, but I don't feel sorry what I did either. Well, new tonight, the man accused of beating his wife to death with a baseball bat is speaking out from jail. Well, 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan right now is live with what he had to say to police and also to his two children here, Brian. Yeah, in an interview from jail this afternoon, Milius told me he didn't tell police much during the investigation, but the arrest report gives an almost step-by-step -step account of what happened leading up to his wife's murder, her family remembering her as a loving mother who they say was trying to divorce her husband. What did you tell officers when they got there? Pretty much nothing. But detectives write Slobodan Milius laid out all the details after his teenage son called 911. Detectives say Milyush told them he couldn't take his wife's cheating anymore. Slobodan telling police the last straw came when Zdazjana Ben Kuhn pushed him away when he tried to give her a hug Friday morning. The father of two children telling police he went to the nearby Walmart to buy a baseball bat, kitchen knife, and duct tape, then to a nearby market to buy vodka and Red Bull. After three drinks, Milyush told detectives he went into the bedroom where his wife was sleeping and hit her three times over the head. I know what I did, but what there is there. Milyush reportedly told detectives he planned to kill himself, but didn't follow through. The couple's older son eventually coming home to discover the crime. Police saying the father gave his son $20 to leave the apartment. The son following the order, but only to call 911. While Milyush showed little remorse for his wife during our interview, he did show sadness when talking about his kids. I just say to love my kids always, you know, and hopefully they're going to be fine. Hopefully they're going to go over there. We're going to... Nice. Again, Ben Kuhn's family is set to lay her to rest tomorrow afternoon. They say she was trying to divorce her husband. As for the suspect, he's due back in court on Thursday. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.